Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be talking all about my summer favorites. I like to do this video annually just to do like a recap of all the items that I've been completely loving for the past few months. And I realized today it's August 1st, which is crazy. So the summer is flying by. It's time I sat down and filmed this favorites video. If you guys are new to my channel, I would absolutely love it if you would hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like favorites videos and you can follow along with me on social media. All right, I'm just gonna jump right into this video. I'm gonna start with all my favorites and then if you guys stick around till the end of this video, I have a few things that I wasn't really loving. I'm gonna start off with what I'm wearing today, which is this shirt that says house head. This is my friend Ashley Gothier's company that she just started. She has a background in fashion. She's also a YouTuber. Some of you guys might be familiar with her in the festival community. And she's been designing these custom shirts. You guys can reach out to her on Instagram. She has all different types of designs and she's doing everything by hand, upcycling things, redesigning them, and just making them her own. And everything is so cute. If you guys are fans of festivals or EDM, definitely check it out. It's called So Butterfly Clothing. But she was so sweet. She reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to pick something out from her Instagram page. And I loved the little crop tops. Um, and then of course I had to get house head written because I'm obsessed with house music. So this is just so cute. And the gems are so sparkly in person and very colorful. So I'm so happy with this. Thank you again, Ashley, for making this for me. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is two bathing suits that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And these are actually from Ravewear companies, but it's kind of perfect because now I can support some of my favorite businesses and it'll still be practical for like real life use, obviously, because we don't have any raves or festivals right now. So this first piece is from Rave With Me Hente, which is a really cute shop. And it's this little aqua bikini and it's this ribbed pattern, which is so adorable. I'll show you the bottoms. They're high waisted and then they have a little scrunch butt, which I love this cut she does this on her um rave bottoms as well and i just think it makes your butt look so good but if you can see that it's kind of like a ribbed material which i really like so stretchy so comfortable so i absolutely love that little set this is like one of my favorite colors as well and then the second bikini is from sweet electric wear another rave clothing company she just launched um, a bathing suit swimwear line and i got this piece it's called the Delilah Bikini. I mean, how stunning is that? It reminds me of like my tattoo a little bit, but it looks like a watercolor. It's got all these flowers and it's got like a butterfly. The bottoms are very high-waisted, but I don't have anything like this. I don't have a white bathing suit and I thought the drawings on it and just the color was so pretty. Like this is my aesthetic, so I absolutely love this. Um, these two bathing suits are really, really great. I might have a video coming out very soon about ravewear companies doing swimwear lines, so stay tuned for that. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this pure festival eyeshadow palette. So I have Boxy Charm, and I absolutely love it. It's a makeup subscription box. Brian got it for me for Christmas. He bought me the year package. Best gift you could give a makeup lover. I get new products every month, and I absolutely love it. So this one was a surprise. It's this eyeshadow palette. So pretty and I know I have like a million eyeshadow palettes but honestly there were some colors in here that were really stunning and I've been playing around with this a lot the mattes are perfection they're so pigmented so I've been using like all of these colors a lot and then I've been playing around the shimmers are stunning and this is my first time using pure eyeshadow so I actually really really like it and it's got a little mirror which is nice so that's fantastic and like they couldn't have guessed me more like a festival palette hello of course I'm gonna love that okay this next item is fragile uh it is my crystal set which is brand new i've had it maybe about two months i think i got it at the end of may i'm completely obsessed i've been having this whole like spiritual journey that i've been super into i've been doing tarot readings and teaching myself how to do that and i just wanted to learn more about crystals and so far i really really love everything about them i meditate with them and i got this crystal set from etsy so i'll link it down below and i just thought it was a good starter set because i have all these different crystals so i have like a little selenite tower which is so cool my favorite one is this tiger's eye i don't know why i just think it's absolutely beautiful this is a rose quartz chunk um, i have a smoother one as well but this is my bigger one that's great for self-love I use Soda Light a lot. Soda Light um, actually calms panic attacks and helps with stress. So I really love the color of this one. 
So anyway, I also have four more that came with the set. They sit by my computer and those are ones I'll like pick up and handle almost every single day. And they all have different meetings. Look into crystals if you guys are interested. I literally just started getting into them in April and May. So I've just really enjoyed working with them and learning about them. Uh, I think it's super interesting. So I definitely will be buying more crystals in the future, probably some bigger ones when Brian and I move into our house. But that was the perfect beginner set to start with and I loved the range of crystals that they give you. Um, I also bought sage from the shop as well so I cleansed all my crystals and I learned about that whole process um, so everything is cleansed. I cleanse my apartment as well and I'll cleanse my house when we move in but just wanted to mention that because if you buy crystals from somewhere before you start working with them and handling them you're supposed to cleanse the energy of them because you know whoever touched them before you're not sure like what mood they were in or what energies they put into them and you're supposed to cleanse those um, to sort of like have a fresh beginning for when you start to use them. I've talked about the crystals long enough. I really, really love them. Okay, my next favorite, you guys, Love Island. The UK version. I've been tweeting about this. I have binge watched five seasons in the last few weeks. Like, I'm completely and utterly obsessed with the UK version in particular. I held off on watching the show for so long. I know it's been around for years and people have been talking about it. And then finally I got Hulu and I was like, you know what, we're gonna start with season six, which was the newest season. I binge watched it in like a weekend, completely obsessed with it. It's like the best reality dating show in my opinion. I love it. I went back and binge watched seasons two through five now. And now I'm re-watching season six because I loved it so much. So there's a US version and an Australian version as well. So I'm gonna watch those at some point. But if you need a new reality TV show, Love Island UK, you guys, you gotta watch it. Okay, I'm gonna talk about this very quickly. I mentioned it in my Week in My Life vlog, but Crystal Light Packets, you guys. Oh my God. The Raspberry Lemonade is my absolute favorite. I have been drinking these once a day, every day. I put them in a huge glass of water and it's like my sweet treat. If I need to kick my sweet tooth or I go out for a walk outside and I come in and I'm like dying of heat, nothing like a raspberry lemonade. So this has been really good. It's only five calories um, and it's just been nice to mix it up because I've been really bored of plain water. So. 10 out of 10 recommend. I have a ton of beauty products in here as well, so I'll start getting into them. I've been really into the Urban Decay Lash Freak Mascara. It's brand new. The wand on this is just really crazy. And like I've been obsessed with the same mascaras for a while. I haven't really tried anything new, but look at this wand. So it's plastic. You have bristles on this side, and then if you flip it over the other side, at the very end of it, at the tip, there's tiny little bristles. So this has been extremely lengthening. It makes my lashes look jet black. And I just really like that it separates them. That's huge for me. I do not like chunky mascara. And then the little baby side on the other side is perfect for your bottom lashes. So you don't have this whole huge thing. You kind of just hold it vertically and just go across your bottom lashes. So been very, very into that. I also want to mention the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. Someone else had mentioned this before. It's basically like a bronzing solution. It's fantastic. It's way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. So if you like to wear light makeup or natural makeup, especially in the summer, basically all you do is you take uh, a little pump of this. Pump it into your moisturizer or your serum and then you just put that all over your face and it makes you look so tan. Like it actually does have pigment. Do not apply this alone. I did that when I first got it. I was so excited. I pumped it in my hand. I rubbed it all over my face. Not good. Not good. That's not how it's meant to be. You're supposed to dilute it in something. So now what I do, I actually pump it into like a primer or a moisturizer before I put my makeup on. It says it's like sunshine in a bottle without the damaging effects. So I think it's supposed to be like a protective layer for your skin when you're outside. So that's good. I wanted to mention these scrunchies that I've been wearing all the time. These are from Pleur Bunny Boutique. These are both reflective, which I'm obsessed with. So I've been trying to be better about wearing my hair back with scrunchies rather than a normal ponytail so I don't break off my hair. So I've been really, really obsessed with these. I'll show you guys the effect really quickly. So here's the first one. It looks like that. And then this next one, all the lines become reflective. So I just think the effect is really, really cool and I will definitely um, be wearing these to festivals or raves at some point, just as like a little a little bonus. But yeah, those are from Claret Bunny Boutique. 
Okay, my next favorite is a podcast that you guys have to listen to. Okay, it is definitely not suitable for work and it is not politically correct. It's from these two comedians. It's called History Hyenas. It's with Chris Stefano and Giannis Papas. You guys, it is the funniest fucking podcast ever. I'm completely obsessed with them. They're just like absolutely ridiculous. I don't know how to describe the humor, but they talk about like real life events. And then they also obviously talk about history, all different kinds of things. They kind of like dig into the background of these major things that have happened in history, people, events, and they are the funniest things ever. Again, not politically correct in any way, shape or form. You might watch it for the first time and be like, what the fuck am I watching? But once you get to know them and their personalities, it's amazing. I cannot recommend it more. So that's called History Hyenas. Okay, the next thing I want to mention is this serum that I've been absolutely loving. This is from number seven, the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. So I needed a new serum to use at night because in the morning I like to use a vitamin C serum to clear up my dark spots on my face. And this is a drugstore brand that on Ulta is so highly reviewed. I finally bought it and I actually really, really love it. So this is suitable for sensitive skin um, and it's actually just supposed to help with any like wrinkles and fine lines and it's just supposed to put a protective layer like on your skin. So I've been loving it. I feel like I have seen results. Like some of my forehead wrinkles and by my smile lines just seem a little bit smoother. So I do think it's working. I apply it every night um, and it's a drugstore pricing. So that's always good. Okay, the next few items I want to mention are from Brit's Blossoms. Brittany just did a whole tie-dye collection, which I think is so freaking cute. And she's actually a rave and festival accessories company. But obviously with everything going on, it's been really cool to see her pivot and try out some new things. So she did these really cute crop tops, which have these little safety pins and it's a little cut out in the front. So I really, really like that. It's super, super cozy. And then I got the matching face mask, which was perfect because I was running out of face masks. And then this is my favorite item I'm completely obsessed with. It's called the slushy hoodie. It's like the perfect length on me. It's not cropped, but like the color scheme in this, I'm just absolutely obsessed with. I love the pastel colors and it's just really, really cozy. So I know it's summer, but I will wear this around the house and this is definitely gonna be a favorite for me in the fall. So if you guys are into tie-dye collections and things like that right now, go support Brits Blossoms and you can use code EK10 for 10% off your orders, which always helps out. So definitely feel free to check that out. Another favorite for the month is my Nomad Candy Butterfly Choker. This is from my friend Lauren Hutzel's shop. You guys might be familiar with her. She kills it with her rave outfits, but her company is on Etsy and they make the cutest rave accessories. I also got the matching earrings to go with this necklace, which I think are so adorable. So I like to wear these together. So I have my little matching set. Another favorite that I want to mention are my crystal bracelets. Again, with the crystals, I know, but these are a more practical way to wear them and have them with you every day. I got the moonstone bracelet and the black obsidian bracelet. I really love the contrast of like the cream color and the black together. I'll pop up here the different meanings of them, but I actually love working with black crystals because they're known to protect you against like negative outside forces and they also represent power. And then moonstone for me actually Actually relates a lot to being a Pisces it brings out your feminine energy it helps balance your hormones and the moon is also like a guiding light for you when you feel like you need clarity on certain situations so I've been wearing these almost every single day and I got this from an Etsy shop so I will link that down below eventually I'm gonna buy all of them because I'm completely obsessed and they just make me feel better wearing them on my wrist every day Okay, you guys, we're gonna get into my dislikes now. I have four beauty and skincare items here, and these are things that just didn't work out for me. First thing, Miss Kylie's skin. This came in a BoxyCharm recently. I've been trying it out. Um, to be honest with you, if it didn't come in BoxyCharm, I would never have bought it. I'm just like not interested in the Kylie skin line at all. I do like her makeup line, but I... I don't know what it is about it. I don't know why I feel like I don't trust her skincare line, but I'd rather just use another company that's like tried and true. And I had heard some like negative reviews of Kylie's skin, but this is the foaming face wash. So the packaging is cute. I feel like you get a lot of product in here. I like the foaming aspect of it, but why I don't like it. Okay, first off, it burns your eyes. So when I like massage this all over my face and it gets anywhere around my eyes, they start watering and get like a little bit red. And that doesn't happen with any of my other cleansers. I try to avoid my eyes in general, but I noticed that in particular with this, 
It also smells, it smells like dial soap. I'm not gonna lie to you. It just smells like a hand soap. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if this is legitimate skincare. Like I'm sure it's tested and things like that, but this could be hand soap and I literally wouldn't know the difference. Like it doesn't smell right to me. And it says it's a ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. It's a gentle formula that cleanses skin by helping remove dirt, oil, makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. So, I mean, I haven't really noticed any differences. I use this in the morning after I work out. My skin does feel clean afterwards, but again, couldn't tell you if this actually does anything. So I don't really like that. The next thing is the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer. Um, I forget who it was. One of my favorite beauty YouTubers recommended this. This is a full coverage under eye concealer. Uh, hate this. Really, really didn't like it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really like the packaging of the tube kind of situation. It comes out as like a little doe foot applicator. So this doesn't apply the concealer that well. Like when I put it under my eye, not that much comes out. So I don't like that. And it's definitely not full coverage in my opinion. Like anytime I've worn this, I've noticed at the end of the day, I can see my dark circles under my eye. And I'm always like, I don't think this did anything for me. So I would much rather use like a Tarte Shape Tape or the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Like those are full coverage. So not a fan of that concealer. This is another BoxyCharm eyeshadow palette I got. This is from Crown Pro, which I had never used before. When I first saw this, I was like, this is literally so up my alley because it's like a warm tone palette. But again, this is like the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. Like I have all of these colors in other palettes, but it's pretty and I did like that it came with a mirror and it's very thin and light. Um, but the shimmers were okay and the two lighter tan mattes, very pigmented, worked well, but, but these two dark browns, when I went to put those to deepen my crease, uh, had no pigment whatsoever and they were really patchy. So I'm just literally never gonna grab for that again because the pigmentation just really isn't there. And last but certainly not least, you guys, we're almost done. Okay, I'm a little torn about this. This is like hit or miss, it just depends. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals face powder and this is in the banana shade okay so kelly strack who's one of my favorite beauty youtubers always was talking about how the new covergirl powders are like fantastic i think i bought the wrong color so if there is one that's translucent or lighter than this i would buy it because the thing that's wrong with it is the shade so it's the banana color and mind you i'm like tan olive it just leaves my face looking so yellow afterwards. Like if I use a little bit, it's not a problem. And the powder itself is really good. The product itself is not the problem. It's just the color. The banana shade like ain't it for me. Um, it's way too dark and my face just looks even more yellow, which I already have yellow undertones. So it just, it ain't, ain't a good look. So I think I might go back and buy translucent if they have it um, or a lighter shade. Cause I just don't think the banana was the right, right fit for me. And that's okay, you know? Who you guys, I knew this was gonna be a long video, but thank you guys for sticking around until the end here. If you guys are still here, go ahead and leave the little butterfly emoji down below in the comments so I know you made it till the very end. Also, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products and you are liking them or if some of the dislikes did work for you. I always love to hear your feedback. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, if you could give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below, I would really appreciate it. And that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.